so i have created a orbital vmax deck and let's look at the deck profile so we have got two snorlax and then we have got four orbital then three orbital vmax then two escape rope three lily spooky doll four quick ball two reset stamp four switch three tag call three Turfield Stadium, th four Bird Keeper, three Bosses Orders, three Cheryl for healing up, then two Cynthia and Caitlin, two Guzma and Hala, two Mallow and Lala for healing up, then two U turn board, four Aromatic Energy, two Capture Energy, then two Weakness Guard Energies, and three of the normal leaf energy let's look at some of the matches so the opponent is going first and he's calling the coin flips so we lose the coin flips and he's deciding to go first he has got no basic pokemon so he gets a mulligan so let's see what we are playing against so he has got two mulligan he has got three mulligan but let's see so we draw more cards let's see so he's playing a sableye v deck okay he's gonna use crazy claw abilities in this deck like let's see what he's doing he gets crowbat okay so let's see another great ball what is he going to get he got applin so with applin he's gonna inflict damage so he's playing his own turfield stadium to get the applin and flapple to inflict damage counters on us but we are playing the same game we'll be dealing damage to him using the ed beam attack so let's see Snorlax in the main position. He used the crazy claw ability to inflict damage on us. So let's see what he does. So it's our turn. So let's crazy claw ability does this does 60 damage for each damage counter. So aromatic energy attached to orbital then turfield stadium to get the orbital v max let's look at the deck first so we have got no lags and let's grab the orbital v max so we can switch into orbital and inflict some damage let's quick ball away the switch and grab ourselves Guzma and Hala is not required in this place, so we'll get an orbital. So that's okay. U turn board. Let's go into Snorlax for a time being. So let's see what our opponent does. He's gonna use Flapple to get. So he's gonna use Quick Ball. And what he's going to do, he's going to get more apple in. Okay. Not a bad play on our opponent's part, so he's going to fall into Flapple. Another Flapple. Apple drop. So he's going to use the apple drop ability to inflict damage on our. So Snorlax has got damage, apple drop. 20 damage on our orbital so he's gonna crow back to draw more cards so he's gonna marni okay that's a little weird play but our hand was really good but this one is also good we can grab some stuff from our 
deck using deck call and we have got bird keeper lily's poker doll so let's see what the opponent does opponent crazy claws 130 damage because he inflicted two damage counters on us Lily's Pokey Dog Bird Keeper into the one where the energy it's attached, so Orbital V Max. Another doll. Research stamp is not required, so let's just do Eerie Beam. And attack call, then G Max pick. So it was it had weakness, so we eliminated in one blow when we get energy and one capture energy. So he's gonna bring up the crowbat in the active position and he's gonna kind of try the apple drop ability of Lapo. So let's see what he's going to do. See, he use, he's gonna use the flapple, apple drop ability. So, twenty more, so sixty. But he doesn't have the energy attached to that save lie. So let's see what he does. It's just a crazy play from our opponent. So he's got another flapper. He's gonna try the apple drop ability. So our opponent concedes and we get the victory. Let's look at the second match. In the second match, we are going first and uh, sorry, we lose the coin flip and we are going first as well in this and we have got all the pieces that we need we have got snow lax or beetle so let's put snow lax in the active position so we can use the common ability let's put down the orbital so not the best of plays from our opponent so let's quick ball away the bird keepers and let's look at our deck so we have got most of the items the resources that we need to go up against whatever deck he's gonna throw so let's grab the orbital so let's gourmet dice for four So we have got U-turn board, so we can start using AD beams from the next turn. So he's using a grammar and deck, Pokemon communication, grammar and VMAX deck. So he must be using Glimboot Tangle as a stadium card as well. So he's gonna grab one more dead energy X. Told you he's using Glimboot Tangle as the stadium card. And dead any away, but he's gonna enter rare candy and Maybe a Polygon or Cherim deck. Let's see. Another Cramorant. But how he's going to get into the active position. Okay, so he's not gonna get into the active position. Let's put down another Orbital. Let's attach the aromatic energy. Let's switch into the saw beetle and let's use the ED beam. And let's use the G Max wave attack. We are only doing 50 damage because this Pokemon doesn't have any energy attached to it. And we don't want Cramorant to get into the X tech position and swing into us. With split shot. With split shot. 
so he is gonna get into Porygon and let's see what he does let's see what he does it's taking a long time to think what he is doing so he's gonna evolve this one Cameron into Cameron and VMAX he's trying he will go for Max Jet Orion has a crazy code ability with which you can attach as many energy card from your hand to the Pokemon. So he's gonna put down the Crobat as well. Okay, he's using the Evolutionist Incense and grabbing the another Crobat V Max. Sorry, Cramorant V Max. And let's see what he's doing. Putting down Crobat. That's to grab Mukaz, Pokecom, a way Porygon Z to get Porygon Z. Okay, so he's just setting up the next turn. So let's get Guzma and Hala and Cynthia and Caitlin. So best place to use Guzma and Hala to get our stadium card. because we have got everything that we need so we're gonna put down Turfield Stadium and we are gonna get ourselves our beta VMAX and let's use ED Beam and let's just swing into with GMAX Wave So let's see what our opponent will do in his next turn. He must have rare candy in his hand to evolve the Porygon. And he has clogged up his bench as well. Let's see what he does. It's taking a long time. He must not have the energy in his hand. So he's going to money for energy. That's what I thought. He didn't have the energy to attack us Let's see what did he grab the energy or not so we got ourselves another crowbat uh, sorry core uh, orbital from that play from money and he's just gonna pass so let's put weakness guard energy and grab ourselves another orbital v max well we are at it and let's Evolve Orbital V into Orbital V Max and put down Orbital V. Cynthia and Caitlin and Mallow and Lana. Okay, grabbing both Cynthia and Caitlin. So let's see what. Giddy Beam it was taking a long time, so just swinging it with 150 damage. Let's see what he's gonna do. If he isn't going to attack the next turn, then we can eliminate him the next time around. So he's gonna Skyla. So that's okay. Let's see. Let's see what he's gonna grab. Let's see. It's not a difficult situation for us. So he's gonna grab Marni. So he's gonna Marmini the next turn. Max Jet. He gets two heads, three heads. He is lucky. He get three head damage increase. So. We get Orbital VMAX. ED Beam. Just attack damage counter. So 
so I'm thinking of using the Cheryl to let's retreat into this one and let's just heal the damage counter eerie beam and then let's just heal the damage counter of oh for come on we're losing the energy but that's okay so let's pass this turn and let's see what he's going to do he is still not able to swing ahead okay so he got the rare candy so he's gonna attach more energy to the crammer and v max with the crazy code ability okay so he's attaching to the other crammer and v max so he's gonna marnie us and let's see what we get out of this marnie because our hand was good so we grab ourselves one more energy but we need grass energy we can playing the long game of with the cheryl let's see what he's doing so he's just switching and he's going to use max jet pun tails two heads pun tails okay 200 damage not bad so i'm thinking of using either mallow and lana or Cheryl. We don't have anything to grab, so let's just EE beam and knock out the dead enemy and grab ourselves two prize cards Guzma and Hala and Escape Rope. So let's see what he's that what is the best player right now. bird keeper into another or beta v max and let's thin out the deck so we can grab the energy let's attach capture energy and let's just use escape rope while we are at it, what's he gonna throw at us? He's thinking, thinking, what you're doing, man? What are you thinking? Just throw at, throw at us, dead in your crow bag. That's what you are going to do, aren't you? Yep. So he's gonna throw the dead in in front of us. We are going to do ED beam. Let's put the damage counters on it. We can retreat into the orbital and put more damage counters. Okay, let's pass our turn. So what is the opponent going to do? He has dead energy X in the active. So he has got recycle energy. He's trying to get another camera and down. So, grabs the recycle back, dead in his back, crazy code, attached to that, grammar and discard, but he's discarding, crowbat and grammar and, okay, crazy code, attached to that, grammar and, he's trying to use spit shot ability. Quick ball. What are you trying to grab from the kick ball? Okay, double V. Okay, he's grabbing double V from Max Jet. One heads and two heads, one tails. Okay. Not an issue for us. We are just gonna heal. Use ED beam and heal the damage. That is the best play. Cheryl to just heal the damage. Hmm. 
we don't need to do anything else we just need to heal the damage let's see what our opponent does with his during his turn He's still thinking, thinking. He's taking a long time. Come on, man. Let's just lose. You're already two card down. So he's going to use max jet. Two tails, one head. Okay. Damage increased. Okay. ED beam. Just put more damage counter on him. Melo and Lana. Switch. So let's just remove turf field and Mallow and Lana. We won't be or Guzma and Hala and Bird Keeper. Turf field and let's go into this one and let's just Eerie Beam stack those damage counters and just retreat into this Orbital V Max. More Eerie Beam. Stack those damage counters. Just pass the turn. So we can stack up damages on the DNA till 160 and then he can be eliminated. Let's see. He's going to use max jet. Two tails and one heads. Okay. So, AD beams, stacking those damage counters, so we have got AD beams and more capture energy, so we eliminated the polygon, so we got one energy from it. Let's retreat into this orbital and let's just attack and sport ED beams and let's just attack and that is game for us. We win using G Max Wave. So that is victory. So do try out this deck, it is a really fun deck to play with. It has got Cheryl and Mellow and Lana for healing and please like and subscribe.